What is going on you guys? I hope you're all having a graceful day. Today I want to try something that I've been wanting to try for a while. One of my friends has sent me a video of someone making a stool out of old car parts and that's something that I've been wanting to try for a while since I watched that video. I do have some car parts laying around that I could do to make it possible. Theirs was a little bit more fancier but I do have my old stress right here. My old disc brakes. Um, they are a little bit rusty so we'll, we will have to clean everything up, get it all painted so it all looks super nice. But that's basically the plan. I want to try and make a stool out of these old car parts. Hopefully we're able to make it happen instead of just throwing this away. I mean, let's make some car part art. So let's give it a try. Let's jump right into it. Uh, I've never tried it. I never tried this before. So let's see what we get into. So before we start getting everything cleaned up, these brake discs or rotors, whatever you guys want to call them, I want to get these struts separated from the spring. That way we have everything apart. We can clean everything and get rid of all the rust that we need to get rid of. That way we do the whole cleaning process in one single step. That way I don't have to clean this and then once I clean that I have to take a break, do that. Just clean it all at the same time. So I do have these clamps right here. I know you should be using spring compressors and whatnot but I don't have those laying around. I'm sure I can go rent them in AutoZone but I already made a stop today to go get some paint and I don't want to go again. So I do have these clamps. So we're going to give it a try see if it works out. Hopefully these springs don't shoot out or the top hat shoots out and shoot in my face. So let's give it a try. Let's put these clamps on there and let's get those springs taken out of the struts. separated from the struts I got everything taken apart it wasn't really too bad using the just that one I just ended up using that one clamp the first time I used both clamps a little slightly bigger but that didn't really do much the only thing that really did like hold the compression of the spring was this little small one so I just used that one on the other one and I mean it wasn't too bad so I mean if you want to use clamps use clamps just make sure it's secure it's at least compressing the spring a little bit so now that means everything is pretty much taken apart we're gonna throw all these rubber boots away we're not gonna be putting those back onto the car there's no need for them um, it's just dust, dust boots and whatnot who cares if they get dusty um, it's not like they're going back on the car and whatnot so throw those away next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up these rotors break this whatever you guys want to call them and we're gonna clean up the struts clean up the springs get the springs painted um, and then of course we're gonna have to weld this strut to there so we're gonna have to grind down here make sure that surface is clean as well and then make sure it's balanced so let's get those clean first and then we'll clean everything else and we should be good I mean this is gonna be a pretty quick little project I mean this is gonna be easy for you guys to do at home if you guys want to do something like this I mean I'm pretty sure all of you guys have spare parts laying around especially stock struts first thing first couple mods you do of course you're gonna lower your car so you're gonna have those stock struts to mess around with got done with the cleaning up process I'm just gonna wait for these pieces to dry to fully dry since these were the last two things the last things that I did in order to get them washed up uh, the springs were one of the first things I did so those are already dry I'm gonna start coating it with this color of paint it's black but it has like some type of metallic flake to it 
Um, I could have gone like a bright red or a bright purple or anything bright, but I kind of just want it to be subtle and you know not stand out too much. So I'm going to hit it with this color. It kind of looks like brown, but I mean it says that it's black, so hopefully it's black and has some metallic flake to it. Um, I didn't really go into much depth like sanding them, making sure the paint's going to stick like really well. Honestly, like I don't really care like how it's going to look as long as it's functional that's all i really care if you guys want to take the extra step to sand it and make sure the paint's gonna stick or even powder coat it that'll be a little bit more expensive but it's it's actually doable so i'm gonna start hitting it with the color of the paint and we're gonna see how that turns out So I just got done painting the struts and the springs and goddamn they came out hot boy SF. Look at that. Dude, that looks freaking sick. That is so awesome. Both the spring and the struts, if you guys are able to tell. You can kind of tell. Um, what I ended up using for the um, the strut, keep in mind I didn't use no primer, uh, no mm, I did not use any primer or anything like that. I didn't scuff it up. I didn't do any of that. Um, the reason for that is because I didn't want to take the time to scuff it up and do stuff like that. Because I mean, they're still going to be outside. They're still going to get dirty and whatnot. So I don't really care. Even if the paint chips or anything like that, which I think I doubt it's going to chip. But what I ended up using for the struts was this, this epoxy paint. Epoxy is really durable. So that's why I went with the struts. Since the struts are going to be the ones that are on the floor, dragging on the floor. Your feet are going to be on the rotors. And I mean, it's going to be getting dirty. And in order to protect the paint from or in order to protect yeah in order to protect the paint from chipping or anything like that i used the epoxy the epoxy is really strong so that's why i went with the struts with this paint but i went with the springs i just went with this color right here i mean it was i mean you could basically use black because what gave the color of the hot boyness all this right here was this clear was this clear effects that i, I bought all this at autozone so it didn't really matter what color i was going to paint this um as long as i painted it black because even though that paint that I used for here, it did have like a small little flake. But I mean the clear coat with all that flakiness, I mean it overtook what the base coat was on that can. What I would recommend is struts, use the epoxy. For the springs, use just any regular black paint. And then with the clear, with the clear effects, it's going to give it that hot boyness. The whole entire thing, I mean I didn't plan it to <laughs> come out this great. I just wanted to try out that clear effects. I've seen it on AutoZone multiple times, but I've just never used it. So I decided just to buy it and just to try it out. And goddamn, do I like it. So I'm just gonna wait for this to bake for like maybe an hour or two, and then we'll come back, reassemble it, and we'll start working on getting the seat put onto the top. Or it's just gonna be made out of wood for now. We can always upholster it and put like uh, some type of cushion or anything like that, but for now it's just gonna be made out of wood. So I'm gonna start working on getting the circle cut out where you're gonna be sitting at as a stool. I'm gonna be using this wheel as a template. It'd be awesome if I could use this wheel to fit it like onto the spring and the strut. Like that would be freaking awesome. But I mean, I don't have another one and this isn't mine. So I'm just gonna use the surface area to cut it out onto the um, wood. We're gonna cut two pieces out, identical pieces. We're gonna get those cut out. So I'm gonna put the wheel onto here and we're gonna trace, trace that out real quick. So I got the circles drilled out, as you guys can tell. I would like to use a little bit nicer material, maybe next time or later on down the road, maybe I'll switch out the wood because it is gonna be interchangeable. I mean, or if I can upholstery it, put some cushion or something like that, maybe later on. But for now, that will work. Um, I would like to use like this type of wood or like that type of wood a lot smoother. Um, but this will work for now. The reason I'm using two is because one of them is going to bolt onto here. Then the other top piece is going to glue onto the top. So if we ever need to drill it out, we'll drill the top piece out and we'll be able to take it off. And then you, you kind of get, you'll, you'll get the idea once I start doing it. So let's get those two circles cut out and then we'll start mocking everything up in order to get a fit onto here. So I got two of two for each strut cut out as you guys can tell there's two the reason why there's two is because the top hat is kind of 
barely enough to kind of like clear it as you guys can tell it barely clears so whenever we do swap these out i am going to get a little bit of a thicker piece kind of like this one because this one actually clears it by itself um so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to glue these two pieces together so i mean if you guys were able to get a thick one like this in the first place you won't have to cut out four like this So I got the two pieces glued together and, and they're holding pretty strong. I tried separating right now and they do not separate. Of course, it's wood glue, it's not gonna separate. So now that that's done, now we're, I already started putting these top hats onto here and I already got everything marked out where it needs to be. I'm gonna drill about, well, I'm gonna drill all the way through. Yeah, I should drill all the way through because I still gotta countersink the other side. That way when we fit the, the bolts through, uh, we'll be able to screw it in. Cause my plan is to be able to fit this all the way down there and fit the nuts that go into here on the back side. So we're gonna drill a bigger hole than that's needed to fit that screw and then we'll plug it up with glue and whatnot or epoxy, it doesn't matter, whatever. We, we, can, we can use whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you guys, I'm gonna put you guys into a time lapse and we're gonna get this all done, get this mounted onto here. Oh, and also I bought this angle piece of steel. So I'm gonna be putting it, so this is gonna go something on the along the lines of that something like that and then this piece of steel is going to go like this like that and it's going to create a triangle that way there's a lot more force that's being held on to the wood to the top hat that way whenever you sit like on the edge or something like that it doesn't like break or crack or anything like that the wood that's what i'm trying to talk about the wood doesn't crack or bend the wood doesn't crack so you guys will see the end product right now. I'm just going to put you guys through a time lapse and I'm going to get this all done. And that should be the last thing we need to do in order to get this assembled. And then we just got to put everything back together. So as I was boring out the holes, I figured out, I mean, there's not much material <clears throat> left of the wood for the nut to grip on. And as you guys can tell, there's not much thread that the nut can grip onto either. Um, so what I decided to do is, as you guys can tell right here, I ended up taking off the stud. I bought a longer bolt, which I'm going to trim this off like perfectly flush. So I'm going to take off all the studs now and I'm going to put a different type of nut just to the back of it. So you guys can see it's, I mean, it's just a basic basic bolt that's gonna allow it to at least sit at least a little bit farther and we don't have to take as much material off from the wood as this because i'm pretty sure if i were to put the nut on there it's probably going to uh maybe break because i mean there's not much left and i mean it can probably just squeeze it real tight so i'm probably just gonna take off like about not even half but probably like a quarter of material in order for the nut to sit perfectly so now at least we learned from this and we're gonna have to perfect it better onto this so for now i'm gonna take off all the studs and we're gonna get it all situated the way that it's supposed to be because with these small little studs it's just not gonna work
backside of this all painted up as you guys can tell i used the epoxy paint two coats of epoxy paint the reason for that like i mentioned previously i use epoxy paint because since this is wood it does chip it does uh, create splinters and whatnot this is going to prevent it from doing that since it is epoxy it seeps like into the wood and it prevents it from like fraying and stuff like that so i just did it the, the back piece and i did the side but the side and the front this piece right here the top i'm going to use the resin that i've been using for the carbon fiber um this is the resin that i no longer use that often because it does turn in like a little tint of yellowish since I did upgrade to a more clear one that's right there um, so I'm, I'm not really using this but since I do have a black pigment which I can make this turn to dark black like that I'm gonna mix all this together pour it onto here and epoxy doesn't stain I'm not sure since this is paint I'm not sure if this is gonna stain I mean it seems like it might stain like if I rub my clothes like say perhaps if this was closed you see, it might stain, not sure, maybe because it's not fully cured. I just let this sit for like 15 minutes since it is pretty hot, so it already dried to the touch, but it still hasn't fully cured. Um, so I'm not sure, but I know mixing this type of epoxy, it's not going to stain your clothes. So that's what I'm going to use for the top piece. So that way you don't have to stain your clothes and stuff like that. That way I don't have to stain my clothes or anybody else that comes over and wants to sit on these and whatnot. So I'm going to get to mixing all this, get to pouring on both of these. And that should be the last thing to do in order to assemble everything back together once we let it dry, of course. So I got these pieces all painted up, both of these, they're good to go, it's all mounted and everything. But in order to put this whole thing onto there, we actually have to mount this piece first onto the strut. And then afterwards we'll put the wood and we'll just screw it down from the bottom. So small change of plans, I originally was going to be putting this piece here. This piece went right here, originally, how the car comes with the stock strut, with the strut and with the spring and everything. It's all assembled like this. That way this is able to spin like that with the with the bearing that's in here. So I was planning on making it spinnable so you can spin if you'd like. But the issue now is since I don't have the clamps to clamp the spring, which I could go to AutoZone and maybe go rent it out. But honestly, I've made so many trips to AutoZone getting parts here and there. Like honestly, I'm like really tired to even go again. So what I'm going to do is like what I did right here. What I ended up having to do is just cut a little bit of the spring. As you can tell right there in order for this bolt to fit so all the bolts are able to fit so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to weld the screws onto the plate all three of them that way that doesn't it's not able to move or anything like that since we're not going to be able to use the nuts anymore because as you guys can tell i mean it's so close to the spring that you're not even going to be able to put a nut So that's it these bar stools i guess you could call them are finally complete they withstand myself sitting on here look at that feet up up and down Woo, woo! it has some play like going up and down like when you sit on it it like compresses a little bit i guess the spring compresses but other than that i mean it's really sturdy holds on to me which i weigh about 200 pounds and God damn, look at that. Dude, this is freaking sick. This is one, has to be one of the coolest projects that I've ever done. I've made something similar with the third hatch for my TC. I'll put a card annotation on the top right corner so you guys wanna watch that video, you guys can check it out. That's mainly for TCs because I mean only TCs have it. But for this, I mean you can have a Subaru, you can have an FRS, you can have whatever you want. Leftover parts, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have swapped out your stock suspension or your rotors as well already by then by now you guys should have um i mean it doesn't take much to do this i mean all i had to pay for was the wood or not even the wood i mean the wood well for you guys maybe because i had wood already laying around so pretty much everything i paid for was the paint which was about 30 dollars because i used the epoxy one you don't have to use epoxy pretty much you can get creative with it there's different ways you guys can do this you can make it look a lot better than this 
that's for sure i mean i didn't really care too much about them i mean it's still gonna hold up it's not gonna get your clothes dirty because of the epoxy i mean goddamn, i'm so happy so pumped how these turned out now i have two good stools to sit down on and sit down put my feet up here or something just chill sit around you know it's pretty sick it would have been a lot better if i was able to or incorporate incorporate this piece right here in order for it to like spin but i mean it's like whatever it rocks a little like front to side because of the spring when the spring compresses but i mean it's not too bad freaking it's freaking sick god damn this so maybe if i just added like something for my feet right here or something i don't know but i mean the project's done it took a while to do uh, a little bit of figuring out here and there because i had some complications with the bolts and whatnot but basically nothing is detachable you're gonna have to cut it or something like that if i want to replace the top but i'm pretty sure i'm not going to i wanted to but with the epoxy on the top layer of this i mean it's gonna hold up pretty strong so i'm pretty pumped about that but other than that i mean what, what's not to like about this project it's freaking sick i definitely recommend you guys trying this out you guys are gonna fall in love with them i mean you can even use them for inside if you want to like go a little bit more in depth and make them look a little bit nicer, a little bit prettier. Paint the springs any color and whatnot, but it's freaking sick. So I think that's where I'm going to end today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, what else do you guys think I should make? Maybe, maybe I should start like doing different things out of car parts, like making different objects, like maybe a lamp next. I don't know. Make sure you guys leave it down in the comments down below if you guys want me to make something in particular. Um... Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, guys. Thank you guys so much for your guys' support. It really means a lot. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out and embrace yourself, guys.